Height concerns continue to be raised surrounding the management of a private community in the Poconos. In a story you'll only see here, residents and a former board member are speaking out. Our Jake Sarward joins us live with the details. Jake. Yeah, and it's been nearly two months since we first reported on those concerns. Now with more residents speaking up within the last week. In March, Fox 56 highlighted the stories of two Penn Estates residents who feel the administration takes advantage of residents and believes community manager Phyllis Hayes is to blame. Two months later, more residents are coming forward. I feel that unless it takes control, I'm going to put my house up for sale. Marianne Rodriguez has lived in the community for nearly a decade, most recently serving as board president. In February, the, the then president uh, resigned and then I was elected president. The position was short lived with Rodriguez resigning only two months into her term. She alleges Hayes is not running the community properly, including hosting meetings without notifying community members. For years, she has not notified the membership of any type of meeting that the board was having unless it was a monthly meeting. Hayes sent a statement saying in part, the board may meet in executive session to discuss legal, personnel, or contractual matters. The members are entitled to obtain a copy of the minutes from the administration office. Another reason for her resignation, Rodriguez alleges Hayes has spent association money without notifying the board. A public safety company allegedly received payment for a contract that the board approved, but the company did not accept. We weren't notified until almost three weeks later. By then, she had already started paying him as if he had signed the contract. Residents are not happy with the service and are hoping to go back to their old provider. We want our black knights back that cared about us, or at least a security firm that cares about us. Before leaving, Rodriguez called a special meeting to reprimand Hayes. On April 19th, I tried to hold a meeting to reprimand the community manager for spending association money without the board's approval. In a statement from Hayes, she says money is not spent without the approval of the board, stating, The board approves the budget annually for the association's expenses. Once approved, expenditures need not to be presented to the board for approval. Since January, a petition on change.org created by residents has been circulating, demanding Hayes' removal. Now, in her statement, Hayes says that it's the board who's in charge of the governance of the organization, and she just handles day-to-day -day operations and enforces their policies. Live tonight in Master Control, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, First to 10.